Hey guys, it's Corey with 10 Best Ones. And today we've decided to review the five best options for you. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. Let's get started. If you're after a larger option, then this next model will be perfect for you. Number five, Vizio M658G1. We're gonna start this list with the largest TV that you can get for under $1,000. The Vizio M-Series Quantum is definitely one of the best options out there, and it delivers great value for your money. In fact, it can be compared head-to-head -head with some big brand TVs out there that cost at least twice as much, and I think that just this is enough to make this TV worthy of being placed on this list. It's definitely an impressive 4K TV with a great picture quality. It uses a VA panel and has outstanding contrast ratio, exceptional black uniformity, and an excellent color gamut. The full array local dimming performs surprisingly well and HDR content looks decent, though it's limited by the TV's peak brightness. The only thing I can't praise about this TV is its viewing angles. Like most VA panels, the viewing angles are poor. I can say that at this price, it's an excellent TV for gaming. Although the refresh rate is limited to 60Hz, it has a remarkably low input lag and outstanding motion handling. From a design perspective, slim black bezels around the top and sides of the display, with a thicker bezel running along the bottom edge, it's made of plastic and it weighs around 53.4 pounds in total. It has four HDMI ports, a USB port, RCA stereo jacks and connection for HD antennas. You can connect the TV via LAN or Wi-Fi, but unfortunately this model doesn't have Bluetooth, which means that you won't be able to connect devices such as Bluetooth headphones to it. Overall, I would say that with this TV, you get more than what you pay for. So if you're looking for a large TV at a low price, this is the one. This next model is the best option for gaming. And I think that this would be a great fit for any type of gamer. Number four, Samsung UN65RU8000. If you're looking for a very versatile TV that can handle anything you throw at it, then the UN65RU8000 doesn't disappoint. It's very good for watching sports, using it as a PC monitor, and especially playing games on it through a console. The absolute best part of the RU8000's performance is its overall quality as a 4K HDR TV for gamers. This model delivers excellent quality for this use, and it pulls off first of all by being fantastically responsive when connected to consoles or PCs for gameplay at multiple resolutions and assorted color and HDR formats. The motion handling on this TV is excellent with a fast response time that helps display crisp motion with minimal blur trail. The input lag is very low and the TV supports FreeSync variable refresh rate technology to please gamers. This TV has four HDMIs, all capable of handling 4K and HDR. There are a pair of USBs for multimedia duties too, as well as built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. Just note that unlike the previous model in this list, if you're expecting to use headphones with the RU8000, there's no hard headphone connection. You'll need a pair of Bluetooth headphones instead. Most modern headphones are Bluetooth nowadays though, so that shouldn't be a huge problem. Without saying too much, the Samsung RU8000 is a very good 4K HDR TV at a fairly decent price. When compared to some other models from Samsung or other brands in this category, I can comfortably say that it performs slightly better in many ways while also being cheaper. We especially recommend it as a fantastic all-round gaming TV for its excellent motion and input specs. If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Number three. Hisense 50H8G. The Hisense 50H8G is a mid-range model that's suitable for those that want the jack of all trades but master of none, in a good way. It can basically handle everything, but it won't perform like a TV made for a specific reason, such as for gaming, watching HDR movies, or anything similar. It has a VA panel, so it's able to produce deep blacks when viewed in the dark, and it has a full array local dimming feature. It has decent reflection handling and it gets bright enough to combat glare, and if you also want to game on it, it has a good response time and an incredibly low input lag. The Hisense H8G Quantum series offers a bounty of ports for your external entertainment hardware, all set in several inches from the left-hand side of the TV. When it comes to connectivity, this TV has three HDMI ports, along with two USB ports and an optical port. It also has an RF connector, which you can use to connect an HDTV antenna. 
On a separate part, it has an HDMI port, Ethernet port, composite RCA, and of course the headphone jack, which you can use to connect your headphones. Needless to say, it has an excellent 4K picture quality, very slim bezels, and the best part is that it's Android TV, so its possibilities are endless. Definitely would recommend it to all of you that are looking for a very versatile TV at a good price. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. TCL 55R625 If you've been looking for a TV in this price category, I'm sure you've seen a lot of TCL TVs popping up on reviews online, and that's for a good reason. TCL somehow manages to make amazing TVs that don't cost a fortune and do the job very well. The 55R625 is one of them. The TCL 55R625 is a good budget 4K TV that delivers a great HDR experience with a picture quality that can rival other high-end TVs on the market. Its VA panel's high contrast ratio is supported by a full array local dimming feature, resulting in deep and inky blacks. However, its response time is a bit slow, and there are visible duplications of the image when using its black frame insertion feature. If you're planning to get a TV for gaming, I want to let you know that this TV has a remarkably low input lag, but there are no advanced gaming features like FreeSync. I would still go with the Samsung RU8000 if I was buying a TV just for gaming. Despite scoring some huge points in the performance department, the TCL 6 Series QLED isn't the most beautifully designed TV we've ever seen. For lack of a better word, we'd describe it as industrial. It's all brushed chrome around the outside bezel with a small logo along the bottom edge of the screen near the IR receiver. However, that shouldn't put you off considering this is a relatively cheap TV. Overall, it has excellent overall image quality with deep black levels, impressive brightness, rich contrast and very accurate colours. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. Sony X950G Even though it's not as cheap as the other TVs we mentioned in this list, I think the Sony X950G deserves to be mentioned, because I think it's the definite best all-round TV at the $1,000 price mark. For around that price, you'll get an attractive TV. The X950G is adorned with trim bezels, high-quality metal accents, and a slim enough profile considering it's a TV with a space-hogging, full-array local dimming backlight system. When it comes to connectivity, this TV is hard to beat. It has four HDMI ports, three USB ports, LAN port, headphone jack, composite video input, and many more. The visual performance really shines, both figuratively and literally, on the X950G. While other TVs seem to use their inordinate brightness without discrimination, making most content bright for the sake of brightness, the X950G saves its peak brightness levels for the most intense HDR scenes. The Sony X950G is a great TV for mixed usage. It's an all-round TV that delivers great performance with anything you throw at it. It has deep blacks that make movies look great and fast response time so sports action looks crisp. You can enjoy it in any room regardless of brightness, as it can get very bright to fight glare, but it can also produce deep blacks in a dark room. Finally, it has a low input lag which makes it very impressive for gaming. Overall, definitely worth it if you can afford it. Buying Guide Firstly, screen resolution. Resolution refers to the sharpness of the TV picture, usually in terms of horizontal lines of pixels. Full HD 1080p is still the most common screen resolution today, but 4K is increasingly becoming the standard, and it's a better choice if you want a smart TV that'll last long, minus appearing outdated. If you're shopping for a TV that'll last you for a few years, i definitely go with a 4K TV. Secondly, refresh rate. The refresh rate is one of the most important things to look for. Basically, it means how many times per second a picture is refreshed on the screen. It's normally expressed in Hertz, HZ. The standard refresh rate is 60 times per second, or 60 Hertz. In scenes with rapidly moving objects, a low refresh rate can make things look blurry. Nowadays, most TVs shoot for 120 Hertz refresh rate, and that's what you should look for to get a better experience. Thirdly, screen size. Whether you're looking for a basic or high-performance TV, the biggest factor in your decision will probably be screen size. Consider how many people in your family typically watch at once and where you're going to put your new set. Then pick the largest screen size that'll fit comfortably into that space and your budget. The sweet spot today, considering price, performance and the typical living room, is between 55 and 65 inches. I know it can be tempting to buy the largest TV you can afford, but please remember that a big screen doesn't always mean that it's better. And fourthly, input lag. 
You should pay attention to this part, especially if you're buying a TV for gaming. A television's input lag is the amount of time that elapses between a picture being generated by a source and that image appearing on screen. When gaming, you will experience this as the time between making an input and seeing the reaction appear on screen. It's only important for gamers, and even then, different gamers will have different sensitivity to lag. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.